In part 10, we follow the whole of the Eastern Line. Having travelled under Oak Hill, the Class 37 emerges from Ashpeth Tunnel and takes the central road through Ashpeth Station. The train passes behind Redrick Ordnance Depot, goes under the Northern and General Main Line and then enters Guideford Tunnel. After emerging from Guideford Tunnel, it passes right through Guideford Station. This is the original part of the layout which is built on a door, hence the very tight curves. Guideford Station, which is station number 5 on the whole layout, has six platforms. Platforms 1, 2 and 3 are bay platforms. Platforms 4, 5 and 6 are through platforms for the eastern line. As we return with an aerial view over the station, you can see in the bay platforms number 2 and 3 a class 158 from Farish and a class 156 from Daypol, both waiting for their turn to depart. We will stay here for a while and watch a few trains as they pass through the station. First, a red stripe liveried Class 31 from Graham Farish hauling a track recording train. A Class 58 from Daypol in mainline blue livery passes through platform 4 with a rake of cement tanks. Then a Class 58 from Daypol in the mainline grey livery with a rake of OBA wagons in tow travels through Platform 5. A Class 47 in Virgin livery from Graham Farish with a rake of Mark II coaches. A 
Another Class 47 from Graham Farish, this time in the revised Network Southeast livery, passes through Platform 6 with a short rake of Mark IIs in a similar livery. Now we pick up the Class 37 again as it continues its journey on the Eastern Line. This area of the layout still requires an awful lot of detailing and scenery work to be completed. The train passes Seaton Vale sidings and then it enters Morrington Tunnel. We catch a Class 60 travelling in the opposite direction, hauling a short rake of TTA tanks. This is from Graham Farish and it's also in the Transrail livery. We catch up with the 37 again as it leaves Morrington Tunnel, climbs the bank and then passes through Morrington Station using Platform 2. The train descends the bank in Ashpeth Town, goes under the Northern and General Main Line, enters Ashpeth Tunnel, and then goes under Oak Hill and back to Ashpeth Station. Finally, an A3 from Daypole, travels along the same line with a steam excursion.